Oyster fans, my name is Lily Evans, and today I will be interviewing Coach Cat about the upcoming game against Monmouth. Is there anything specific to their playing style that you guys have to look out for? Yeah, I mean, they're uh, they're physical on defense. They, they like us, have a lot of fifth-year guys on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, they have a few on offense, too, including their quarterback. But they, uh, they play a really physical brand of football, high effort. Um, coach Braun, you know, prior to being their head coach, was their defense coordinator. And, and that's always been one of their hallmarks. So we're... We're prepared for that. We know that's coming. It's been a really physical game the last two years uh, in particular. And then on the offensive side of the ball, they're really explosive. They've hit uh, more explosive plays this year, you know, over 25 yards than anybody else in the conference. Uh, they're really good at dissecting and finding that weakness in the coverage or finding something in the run game that they can get to. And um, they've, been, they've been really good at doing that. And so we've got to be prepared for that. Um, and they, they do have the ability to go tempo and go fast tempo against us. And that's something we haven't really seen a lot this year against our defense. I've actually been um, somewhat surprised uh, by that. But I think because of how good our defense has been, people haven't really been able to get into their rhythm and get into some other things they might want to do. So uh, we've got to be prepared for that. that They're not going to sit back and just wait and, and take all the time off the play clock like we do. Uh, and so we've got to be prepared for that. How do you prepare for a competitive game coming in from an easy win? Yeah, hopefully we learned our lesson with the uh, Rippman kind of get better to that. Um, we don't really change what we're doing. I mean, this week we change because we go to the indoor facility. Um, so it's been a little bit different that way. Um, but I, I do think that for our guys, it's the same. It's just really stick to the process of watching the film, you know, being students of the game that we're about to play, um, spending time getting their bodies right. I, I think that that is one of the things at this point in the season, you know, it's not about um, heavy weight lifting and things like that. It's about making sure the bodies are recovering and getting to healthy. Um, but it's really about a mentality. And, and I love the fact that this is a, you know, it's an overnight trip for us. We get to go to the hotel on Friday night, um, have the guys there, get really locked into um, being prepared for that. And, and, you know, probably one of our best games this year came on an overnight trip when we went to Illinois College. And so hopefully we can execute at that same kind of level um, this week. Is there any area offensively that you would really like to see improvement? Yeah, over the last, uh, I mean, not necessarily the Beloit game, but the weeks before ball security, and, and even the Beloit game a little bit with a couple of fumbles, we need to, we need to take care of the ball better. And uh, the sustaining of drives, we've done a really good job of, of putting drives together, but we haven't always finished them in the end zone. And I think that that's something that, for me, we really need to, to focus on. We did a really nice job of that on Saturday, having a 92-yard a drive that was 16 plays long and get a touchdown. But I think we need to do that more and be prepared for those longer drives. And if you look at our game the, the last couple of years against uh, Monmouth, it's taken really long, sustained drives in each of those two games that have helped lead us to victory with points or without points. Um, and, and we need to make sure we're able to do that on Saturday. Defense has been doing really well. Is there anything that you want to see improvement on? Um, I, I think that, you know, early in the year, we we're going to like that one gash play each each game. And I, I think that we've kind of gotten that under wraps. Um, I think that getting the quarterback down on contact, meaning they have a quarterback that can run. Carter Boyer is a very talented athlete, quarterback from Monmouth. And so our guys getting him down on the ground and not letting him ex extend plays uh, will be a very big key to success this week. Uh, we, have, we haven't seen as mobile of a quarterback as he is in quite some time. Um, and I know our, our guys are aware of that. And so we just need to keep him in the pocket and, and make him make decisions under duress rather than you know, getting out into space and extending plays and having you know, the coverage not necessarily aligned to the scramble. All right, that's all I have for today. Thank you, Coach Kim. Thank you.